Hey everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are gonna be adding tens and ones on an open number line today. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I have my problem. I have 38 plus 24. So you can see that they are two two digit numbers. So I wanna use this open number line as a visual, as a guide in order to help me add on this 24 to my 38. So what I wanna do here is I wanna help myself. In order for me to do that, I want to look at the number 24 and I want to show how many tens, how many ones does 24 have? Because to me, that's going to help me build how I need to show how I'm skip counting on this particular open number line. So when I'm looking at the number 24, I'm thinking, okay, well, how many tens? Two. And how many ones? Four. So I'm going to show that using some pictures. So now that I have my two tens and four ones, I want to start showing hops. So that's going to help me get to my sum. I also have my hundreds chart here in order to help me and kind of give me that extra guide to make sure that I'm going to be counting correctly as well. So I'm going to start at 38 because remember when we started adding a while ago, counting on is a really great strategy, but when we're counting on using tens and ones, we're gonna need some additional help. So here we go. We are going to be starting with the two tens. So when I wanna do that, I'm gonna take each individual 10. So if I'm starting at 38, that's gonna be my first big hop. That's gonna be my first plus 10. So 38, and 10 more, hmm, what would that be? Looking at my hundreds chart to help me. Remember, when you're going either down or up in that same column, you're either adding or subtracting by 10. They go in increments of 10. So remember, I'm adding here. So the direction I want to go is down. So since it's only 110, that's one hop down. If you already didn't figure it out, it should be 48. Okay. So that's only my one 10. Now I need to go the other 10. So that's another big hop. Another plus 10. So go from 48, 10 more. Remember only that tens place is changing. 48. If you didn't figure it out. One more 10 is 58. Okay. But we're not done yet because we still have to do the ones. My ones are gonna be those little hops. And since there are four ones, I wanna do four little hops, okay? So 58 plus one more is gonna give me, easy peasy, 59. And when you're on the hundreds chart, you're going to now move to the right because you're only adding now by one. We're not going in increments of 10 at this time. So 59, there's one one, here's my second one. 59, one more, 60. There's my third one, 61. And my last one should be 62. All right, so if we want to double check, use this hundreds chart to help me. Here we go. So I'm going to start at 38, 110, two tens, and then my four ones. One, two, three, four. And we did end on 62. So my sum here, 38 plus 24 is going to be 62. So hold tight. We have one more example. Okay, we're back. So now here's my next problem. I have 45 plus 32. So here I go. I want to start with my 45, but let's do our breakdown a little bit. Let's break down our 32 to showing tens and ones. So if I'm looking at 32, how many tens? Should be three. One, two, three. And then two ones, one, two. Sometimes that's really going to help me as it's gonna tell me how many big hops I need to make versus those little hops. 
So here I go, I'm at 45 and I wanna start on my three tens. So remember, I'm gonna take each 10 individually. So 45, my first big hop is plus 10, 45. And don't forget, we also have our hundreds chart here to help us remember the direction that we're going, which is down because of course we are adding. So we're doing it increments of 10, so we're staying in that column. 45, 10 more is gonna be 55. All right, that's my first 10. Second 10, my second big hop, 55. 10 more is 65. Then I'm going to do one more hop because I have one more 10, that's my last big hop. So 65 and then 10 more is gonna be 75. So now I have to go ahead and do my smaller hops because I have those two additional ones. So 75, little hop, plus one more. So remember, we are not going down anymore because we're not doing increments of 10. We are now going to do by one. So we're gonna wanna to move to the right. So 75, one more, 76. And then one more after that, because I only have one more additional one, is 77. So let's go ahead, let's look at our chart too, and we'll double check. So 45, and I wanna go three tens, one, two, three, and then two additional ones, one, two. So therefore, yep, I did make it to that 77. It's shown here on my open number line. So 45 plus 32 is going to give me a sum of 77. So boys and girls, I hope you like our little tutorial on adding tens and ones on an open number line, as I always encourage you to try and practice at home. And until I see you again, have a great day. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.